Well, Tropical Depression 10 formed off the Yucatan Peninsula. This was on Saturday, roughly 4 o'clock Eastern Time. 30 mile per hour storm. That's as of the 5 p.m. advisory. It just meanders around that area over the next couple of days. Forecast to strengthen into a tropical storm by Sunday. The name would be Idalia, most likely if it does develop by tomorrow. Thereafter, forecast to strengthen as it gets into the Gulf. There it is by Tuesday. Category 1 forecast by the National Hurricane Center with a, a direct impact with the center of the storm somewhere from near Tampa to near Pensacola. That would be Tuesday night or Wednesday. And again, the threat is for a hurricane there. All right, so here's the headlines for us here in South Florida. Tomorrow's still a good day. Sunny and hot on Sunday. TD 10 is going to track west of us, so that means fringe impacts locally. What I do expect is as it makes its closest approach, we'll, again, we'll be well to the west with the center of the storm. It brings an increase in heavy rain, some squally weather, maybe a low-end flood threat, but that won't be until Tuesday or Wednesday. Here's Sunday. Maybe a stray morning shower. There's a weak little low that's just offshore. Much of the rain in the afternoons on the west coast, but we could see a spotty shower. 94. It's hot tomorrow. And then another slight bump on Monday and afternoon storminess, but still even Monday doesn't look to be too rough. It's once we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's the peak of the stormy weather for us here locally and an increase in breezes. Hot too. Look at Thursday, Friday as we get into a west wind, we go to 95, but then Saturday comes in, not too bad, back into the low 90s and lower rain chances. Hey, you can always track all of this, the tropics to local weather, that's at our website, local10.com. Have a good rest of your weekend.